Hey, you guys, what's up? It's your boy Tyson. So this is annoying me. The discourse with this Jonathan Major situation is so disingenuous. And my thing at this point when it comes to heavier topics like this, anything when it pertains, especially pertaining to the black community, I'm not arguing for it back and forth with y'all. I'm really not. Um, I'm pushing my narrative and I'm leaving. And the people that get it, get it. And the people that don't block, is it. Um, and no, I don't need an echo chamber, but y'all sit there and want to agree to disagree on things like abuse. And I'm not going to agree to disagree on stuff like that. So anyways, back to what I was saying. Jonathan Majors has caught some DV allegations. And now the same black men that were emasculating him and calling him anything from zesty to the F word to an agenda to take down the black man are now throwing on capes. One point of conversation that I think needs to be in place right here is, and first of all, I'm not going to not all myself for y'all Negroes. No, I'm not. It's not all, but guess what? It's more than enough. So at any rate, um, I saw men trying to skate by and say, oh, well, um, y'all should bring up the specific men who said that. No, 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 doesn't matter. You want to know why? We, along with the rest of the world, <laughs> see the way that y'all talk about the Lil Nas's, the Jonathan Majors, the Michael B. Jordans, the Prince's, the Michael Jackson's. And they get a pass because they're artists. But your average, more so effeminate black man doesn't have that same privilege. Um, and just because it's not spoken, even though it it, it is, like y'all, hell, y'all, y'all throw around the word zesty. That's like the new F word for black men. But at any rate, neither here nor there. Um there's no secret of how y'all view men like that in this community. So, and yeah, black women have a part in that too, but black men are very mean about it. They're very nasty. Um and that's not a secret. And even when it comes to the more alternative black boys, maybe they're not effeminate, but maybe they're more so nerdy, like the Michael B. Jordans or corny or whatever. Um, y'all would have been right there with your little preference, L'Oreal bullying him too, while y'all are posting that video, like it's a win. Somebody bring it up from high school. Y'all would have been right there with her. By the way, is L'Oreal biracial or? At any rate, fast forward to now, and the same men that were, you know, doing all that crap, now they they got their capes on. They got their capes on. And now he's the new Emmett Till. I am... When y'all say that, like, I... I can't even say what I want to say here. I Stop saying that. Please. He is a child. Tory Lanez is a grown man. Jonathan Majors is a grown man. Let that child rest in peace. Going back to what I was saying, though. Um, and why are you and each other you're good? They go do the women of the white lady accused him of still dumb ass bitch. A little something in the thought. Um, back to what I was saying, though. Another thing that's annoying me is. The way that y'all did Megan Thee Stallion, y'all think we gonna sit here and hold off on Jonathan Majors? <laughs> like, audacity and arrogance of nothing else y'all need girls gonna have. But I have to say that because mostly black men were defending Tory. Um, same thing with this situation. Like I said, it's so weird how y'all will like use them when they're good, but when they're not good. I don't, I don't know. The way that we latch on and latch off. It's the same thing with them white girls that y'all was saying y'all need to leave alone, which somebody posted that on Twitter and I was like, what is even the point of y'all tweeting this? Because y'all are going to go right back to the snow bunnies. Which a lot of y'all be getting polar bears, but neither here nor there. Um, yeah. Um, after the way Megan was done, no. No. Mm-mm. -mm. Hell, still being done. Y'all are y'all y'all chased her off the internet, and I love her little interview. That thing was she. First of all, the hair, 
I feel like she was on a mission. She, you know what I'm saying? She popped out. But um, she got an album on the way and F y'all hoes. And that's just, I, she finna, one thing we finna give is some good music. I know that much. But at any rate, um, going back to what I was saying. Yeah, after the way y'all did Megan Thee Stallion, no. We don't owe Jonathan Majors um, any type of waiting and seeing. Um, and as long as anybody who is tweeting hot takes is saying allegedly, they're good. That's it. Like, at the end of the day, I don't know. First of all, this this discourse doesn't, it, what is it? It doesn't even matter. It shouldn't even matter. It's not going to, it has nothing to do with his play out in court. So why are you so upset? <laughs> Like that is what when when I be seeing these men unhinged in these comments, like why are you so upset? This Twitter conversation ain't gonna have nothing to do with if he actually put hands on the woman or not. So, but yeah, I think that's everything I have to say. Um, like I said, when I cover shit like this, it's more so the mindset behind the things we say as Black people and our responses. It's not really so much the key players themselves that I'm discussing. Um. But, um, yeah, and, and I would just use this, especially if you're a black woman, I would use this as an interesting time to just um, view, you know what I'm saying, the people around you, you know, when y'all have these conversations at like the kitchen table, I would I would just listen. Um, a lot of people tell on themselves, you know, even in terms of the not all rebuttal. Again, hit dogs will holler. Why did you feel the need to say that? Nobody said it all. Um, and once somebody starts going into details about a specific subset of men at that point, there there is no all to it. You know, you're just you're just you just want to argue. It's just given that. Um, or maybe that's your homeboy, maybe that's you that the tweet applies to. I don't know. Um, maybe y'all need to do some introspective thinking there on y'all's end as men, because it's exhausting being an XY chromosome. I'd say that much. So with that being said, I bid y'all adieu. I'm finna go watch some anime and uh drink some wine and oh I need to eat. Damn. I'm yeah, I'm finna go uh prepare myself for the day. The day I deserve. <laughs> That's what I gotta stop start doing. Stop arguing with the incels. Say your piece and say I hope you have the day you deserve. <laughs> That shit be hitting so hard. But yeah, I will catch y'all on the next um video. I just had to get this shit off my chest because like I said, it's a bunch of smoke and mirrors and I don't. Mm -mm, mm -mm. But yeah, I'll catch y'all on the next video. Peace.